So, getting into my long, 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 long explanation of combining like terms, now let's go and see how we're going to add um, polynomials. So let's say I ask you to do x, x cubed minus 4x squared plus 10x minus 5 plus 7x squared minus 5x plus 6. Okay, let's say I ask you to add these two up. Now, there's a couple ways we can do this. All right, and the first way, which I'm going to show you, is what we just call the vertical method. And all you're going to do when adding is just going to write one above the other, right? Remember when I said like 5 plus 3? When we said, you know, what is 5 plus 3? Sometimes just teachers say, well, why don't you write it like this, right? This is like kind of the vertical method. So you're going to do the same thing with polynomials. Write one above the other. So we have x cubed minus 4x squared plus 10x minus 5 plus. Now, what we're going to do when we arrange these, you want to make sure that you only arrange the ones that have common uh, variable factors. So would we have any other term that we're going to add to that has an x cubed, the same variable factors as x cubed? No. So you could either say it's going to be 0x cubed, or a lot of times we just don't even write anything there. because 0x cubed is 0, right? And, and x cubed plus 0 is just going to be x cubed. So I won't write it in there. But then we have plus 7x squared minus 5x plus 6. So when adding these, all you're going to do is just x cubed plus 0, as we talked about, is x cubed. Negative 4x squared plus 7x is going to be a positive 3x squared. Right? Because remember, since the variable factors are the same, we keep it. Right? Then 10x squared plus negative 5x is going to be negative 5x. Negative 5 plus 6 is a positive 1. Positive 5x. Positive 5x, thank you. Thank you. Maybe you should get the salary too then, huh? So, there we go. Does everybody see? Anybody have any questions? Ladies and gentlemen, now once you get pretty good at this, what we can do is also what we just kind of call the horizontal method. And on the horizontal method, all you're really simply doing is just saying what, what you're just combining your like terms horizontally. So you have negative 4x squared plus 7x squared, which you guys, um, an x cubed doesn't go with anything, so you just rewrite it. So you say, that's x cubed. Negative 4x squared plus 7x squared is going to be a positive 3x squared. Then you could say these two terms fact add up to each other. So 10x, 10x minus 5x is a positive 5x. And then you have negative 5 plus 6 is positive 1. So you can just kind of combine your terms just kind of horizontally and just combine the ones that have the same variable factors. Combine them up, keep the variable factor, and then you have your answer. All right? I think it's easier, and I guarantee you're going to make a lot less mistakes if you rewrite it in the vertical method and combine like terms. Okay, there's adding.